As most of you are aware, a Baywatch movie starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Zac Efron is currently in development that will be helmed by Horrible Bosses director Seth Gordon. Today comes news that a short list of actresses for the film has surfaced. According to a report in Deadline, one or several of these actresses could end up with various roles in the film. The actresses include Johnson San Andreas co-star Alexandra Daddario, The Vampire Diaries Nina Dobrev, Storm from the upcoming X-Men Apocalypse Alexandra Ship, Pretty Little Liars Ashley Benson, Shelley Henning from Teen Wolf and Unfriended, Bianca Santos from The Duff and Ouija, and Denise Taunts from Big Time Rush. Schnapp, which if any of these actresses would you like to see in Baywatch? Well, this isn't really what I would call a short list. This is like you know, the seven. <laughs> the seven. Well, as opposed uh, to the hundred yeah, candidates, I seven, guess. Uh, seven beautiful ladies, all, uh, you know, obviously they're going to be in bikinis and bathing suits. And it's Baywatch. They've already got the rock. There's going to be a bunch of other, like, stud hunk dudes that they're going to be, like, trailing out on their whatever short list. So this is like the uh, the meat market version of which ladies yeah. here uh, do you guys or gals find attractive so i'd say all of them you know i had to do my <laughs> research this morning because i wasn't wasn't familiar with a lot of them so i found all of them incredibly stunning and beautiful and i think they should all be in baywatch how's that for a lady? <laughs> man talk about the dog pound i mean i think in hollywood they could have found somebody at least remotely attractive oh my god i mean that's quite the list, and you know it's 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 you know, and it should be. We should really emphasize this too. The report that came out of deadline was that they're not just shortlisted for one role. They're, they're, these could be several roles, right. so we could see like three of these uh, young ladies, th four of these young ladies popped up. Um, obviously, the name that jumps out to me the biggest, the best is Alexandra Daddario, because not just because she is like a freak of nature, she's so attractive. But she has shown us, whether it's in True Detective or other things she's... I, look, you're talking about San Andreas. The first thing you think about is not good performances. If you can have a good performance in a movie like that, she gave it. Like, so she's got talent on top of stunningly beautiful. I was telling Mark this story beforehand, but I, I, I really should share it. This is how ridiculously, obscenely good-looking Alexander Daddario is, all right? So everybody knows the scene from True Detective. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows what I'm talking about when I say that. So I wasn't really watching True Detective. I had watched the first two episodes and I didn't like the first two episodes. So I gave up on it. Now later I binge watched the rest and really enjoyed the rest, but I had given up on it. So Anne was still watching it. And guys, get the, keep in mind, this is my wife, <laughs> all right? My wife calls me one day when I'm at work and when I'm at the office, right? And she calls, she goes, John, honey, have you seen this Alexander Daddario's sex scene from True Detective. I said, no, I, I'm not watching it. She goes, John, this is my wife telling me this. Stop what you're doing. Get online <laughs> and find that clip. It is stupid how beautiful this girl's body is. And like, and all this, this is my wife telling me. When your wife is telling you to stop what you're doing, get online and look up some smutty porn, that, <laughs> that, is, that says something is different about this situation. Well, John, um, this isn't smutty porn. This is an artistically <laughs> shot, amazing series called True Detective, folks. And if you haven't seen it, watch the first season. Uh, which I, I cannot deny anything you just said. But, but, but beyond that, so everybody will look at her and say, wow, ridiculous. This girl can act. Mm -hmm. And that's the biggest thing here. Uh, Nina Dobrev, good Canadian girl, so I got to be happy about <laughs> that as well. I know uh, Ashley will probably have a bit of fondness for yes. our Pretty Little Liars in the and House. And Nina Dobrev started on Degrassi, was mm -hmm. a terrible, terrible actress, and has come such a freaking long way than that. It's absolutely amazing. So I'm rooting for her. And, of course, my girl, Ashley Benson. Mm -hmm. She's looking like fire and I feel like she'd be a perfect fit for Baywatch she's like I mean I guess it kind of depends what kind of character she'd play but I really could see her in that role if you know what I mean <laughs> yeah she might be the Pam Anderson yeah you like, know you know. Yeah. Oh, what about you Mike? I'm still getting over the wife phone call like that's so <laughs> great that your wife called you because when that scene happened I got a call from Harloff and Makuga like dude <laughs> <laughs> you got to see this scene. I still haven't seen the scene, so, so I'm the last guy on he earth. He hasn't. And, we talked um, about that this morning. I'm like, you haven't seen the scene? You like, hear that, Mom? Nope. Your boy's doing fine in L.A. Um, first of all, how much fun did Ray have putting that crap together? <laughs> um, I'm actually I, uh, shocked at like how he actually kept it together. You know, But well, we don't <laughs> know. That over he, the top, he went right. into the bathroom and made that for an hour, <laughs> so we don't know what all went down. Oh my um, yeah, I mean, Alexander Dadar, you would have to think, is the lead because she's the biggest name, and she also doesn't have to do Baywatch to enhance her career. She can do a lot of other things. She might have little more options than some of these other ladies. Bianca Santos is somebody to keep an eye on, though, because she was in Ouija, and I liked Ouija more than a lot of other people did. Because One of the reasons why is because I believed her in that role, so 
So if she can pull off Ouija, I'm sure she can pull off Baywatch. It's going to be, there's going to be a lot of comedic elements to Baywatch, a lot more than we're on the classic TV show. So you have to be able to pull that off. But in order to do that, you need to commit to the role you're playing. You know, you, you, you need to be somewhat of a good actress in order to make those scenes funny because you got The Rock, you got Zac Efron. Right. Any one of these, I think, would be a great choice physically. But can you pull off the role of being a lifeguard and commit to it? That's what's going to make us laugh. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.